And it's good to see our next panelist. Let's bring in David Harris Jr., host of the David Harris Jr. Show and podcast, a true leader in the conservative movement. All right, David, uh, I know you're watching this closely and we'll continue to hear Democrats say there's no smoking gun, but over and over, it seems like there's one after another. Let's just play one more juicy nugget today from Bobolinsky. If Joe Biden was not involved in his son's business dealings, why after flying all the way across the country to the Milken Conference, where there is next to Davos, is probably the biggest conference in the world, why would he take 45 minutes out of his night it wasn't a 10 a.m. meeting. It was 1040 in the evening. He's an elderly man, flew all the way across country to sit with me for 45 minutes to an hour to discuss my background, the business we are doing with the Chinese, his family's background. China, Russia, Ukraine, it's all coming out to David. Uh, what's your take on what we're hearing today? Well, I just really hope that the American people are, are paying attention. I hope that clips like this get shared far and wide on social media, especially on X, since it seems to be the one social media platform that's not being restricted of uh, sharing the truth. Uh, but I hope the American people are seeing literally unfold before their eyes the smoking pile of manure that Joe Biden and his son Hunter have have been walking in, have been peddling all along, lying to us, the American people, that they had no interests in any of these foreign countries. It is clear as day that they are corrupt as the day is long, They're, and even longer. Uh, they have been selling privilege, American privilege, po political power to other countries. Some of them are adversaries, uh, people that, uh, that would love to destroy this nation. They've been doing it and they've been doing it for years, and they cannot hide. Hopefully this House Oversight Committee, uh, hopefully they continue to press on the truth, and regardless of the backlash on mainstream media, hopefully justice is served, and these corrupt individuals, and every single one of them, you know, get exposed. Because believe me, it does not stop at Joe Biden. And we, are, you know, we're obviously talking about it here, as you said, and, and clips will be shared. And it, you know, it sounds like there isn't, a, you know, maybe the last election cycle they could say this was disinformation on a laptop. But now, you know, Tony Bombalinski wanted to speak then, but here he is. You know how how much uh, times have changed a little bit. You know, people are wondering, you know, what what types of uh, you know uh, consequences could come. You know, and he's basically saying they perjured themselves, but it's this DOJ that would never bring charges. And here's what he told Congress just a short time ago, David. Here's just one egregious example of Hunter's perjury. He lied to the committee um, on important details concerning his money demands and threats to CFC in text messages on July 30th and 31st, 2017. He leveraged his father's presence next to him in that infamous text to strong on CFC to paying Hunter immediately. Jim Biden also lied extensively throughout his transcribed interview on February 21st and perjured himself. So there you have it. I mean, if, if you're the first son and you could always get a pardon, and if you're the president and you have the DOJ, um, this is, I think, the frustration for American people now that they are seeing, you know, AKA receipts, as you say. Absolutely. I mean, look at what's happening with Peter Navarro. Look at what they tried to do to Rudy Giuliani. Look at the 16, 17 individuals that were a part of Trump's uh, either campaign or legal team that were brought up and indicted in Georgia. Uh, mm -hmm. And and look at what they're doing and still doing to the J6ers, the individuals that none of them, none of them convicted or even indicted on any kind of violence, yet so many are still in prison. This is the other reason why I proudly champion President Donald J. Trump. He has said from the beginning, they're not after me, they're after you. This is proof. But he's also said that when he gets back in office, he will wipe the floor. He will clean the slate. He will right the wrongs. And that's really the only hope that I think that we as Americans have of true justice being uh, uh, being done in this country. Every single corrupt and uh, uh, politician that's been doing illegal deeds, it's going to continue to get swept under the rug under a DOJ that is all continually continually proving to be politically biased for the Democrats, uh, there's no way that we're going to have any justice unless we get President Trump back in office. Uh, and then he said he'll 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 clean this. He'll clean the slate. We'll yeah. have a fresh start. And then that's how the American people will get confidence back in our government.